Today, we're getting some really awesome news on the developments of Buffalo Bills safety DeMar Hamlin and his condition. University of Cincinnati doctors providing a very positive upbeat and update on the condition of DeMar Hamlin after suffering cardiac arrest on the field during the Bengals Bills game on Monday night. Voice of the Browns Jim Donovan joining us now with what we know and what the Bills organization is saying tonight and Jim I think it's safe to say that while not officially out of the woods the sports world is collectively breathing a huge sigh of relief on today's news. Jay, absolutely. They really are. The city of Buffalo, which has been holding vigils around the clock, and the Buffalo Bills football team is a big, big part of that. That group is really smiling to the heavens right now with the news coming today that DeMar Hamlin's condition has dramatically improved, that he is awake right now, though still on a ventilator, that he is moving hands and feet, that he is neurologically intact, that the oxygen levels and the readings there are improving by the hour and that also his lungs are clearing and that is good news too and that he is communicating with doctors and with family. Now back to the Bills situation. The Bills teammates are elated as they went out to practice today to get the update from DeMar Hamlin's family. They also are quick to tell the story that the real heroes are the heroes on their medical staff for on Monday night they were the first out to the player at the time of the injury. And one trainer in particular, Denny Kellington, he was the trainer that performed the CPR to get a pulse, to get a heartbeat, to bring him back to life as he had none of that. No heartbeat, no pulse on the field. A very emotional quarterback, Josh Allen of the Bills, spoke moments ago. Our training staff for going out there, not knowing what's going on, but going through a checklist working as a single cell symbiote, like saving his life, you know, and is being on that field. It, <clears throat> you, know, you, you, you lose sleep, you hurt for your brother, um, a lot of shared grief, but to the question before getting updates and positive updates eases so much of that, that pain and that tension that you feel. Well, today was their best day, no doubt about it, and for all of us, too, and I know all of you that have been following this story minute by minute. The press conference by the doctors at the University of Cincinnati Medical Center was absolutely astounding. It was fantastic. The two lead physicians who are leading the teams, and I say teams, it's plural down there, of the many people who are working on DeMar Hamlin, they met with the media, took all questions today. They told an amazing story of DeMar Hamlin's progress and how he is communicating with his family and doctors, and that's a great sign. Now, he can't talk yet because he still has the ventilator and the breathing tube in place, but he is communicating by notes. And here's the amazing story from one doctor. The first note from DeMar Hamlin to the doctor and people in the hospital room went like this. You know, and again, his first, you know, first question that he wrote when he, when he started to awaken was, was, did we win? So we know that he's really, that it's not only that the lights are on, we know that he's home uh, and that it appears that all, all the cylinders are firing. Uh, within his brain, which is greatly gratifying for all of us, for the nurses and the respiratory therapists and the care team that's been at his side, uh, for his family and for everybody else beyond. So imagine that through all of that, through the scare that we saw and witnessed and the millions that watched the game on that Monday night and saw DeMar Hamlin laying on the field after collapsing after that hit early in that first quarter against the Cincinnati Bengals. And he comes through all of this. And his first question is, did we win the game? The doctor then, and we'll share his answer later on in another newscast, said, uh, you won. You won in the game of life. And that really says it all. Jay, an amazing day, a great day for the Buffalo Bills. And just unbelievable thanks and good wishes pouring down to the medical society down there at the University of Cincinnati Medical Center. Uh, a great day around the NFL for everybody that's a fan of the game and has been pulling for that young man. Yeah, it really is. Um, and we'll continue to follow this story each day. But certainly today's news, terrific. Jimmy, excellent job. Thanks. We'll see you coming up at 6 o'clock. Thanks, Jay.